Today we're going to talk about density. Do you remember what matter is? Yes, it has weight, takes up space, and makes up everything. And do you remember what mass is? Excellent, how much matter is in something? Great, then you are ready for density. Density is how much matter is in a certain space. Would you like me to show you an example of that? Absolutely. Here are two boxes that are the same shape and the same size. I am going to fill this box with pillows and I'm going to fill this box with bricks until they are equally full. Do these boxes have the same amount of matter? No, it is true that the boxes are equally full. But the amount of matter inside is different. Which box would you rather carry around? I would want the box of pillows. It has less matter because the pillows are less dense than the bricks. Let's look inside the boxes at the atoms. The one with the pillows has atoms that are not tightly packed, so they are less dense, having less density. The one with the bricks has atoms that are tightly packed, so it is more dense, has more density. So remember, next time someone calls you dense, take it as a compliment. It must mean you have more gray matter in your head. Now let's talk about relative density. That simply means that we will see the density of a material in relation to a known substance. For example, let's look at water. If I have a tub of water and I put a plastic spoon in the water, will it sink or float? Right, it floats. It floats because its density is less than the density of the water. If I put a penny in water, will it sink or will it float? That's right, a penny would sink because its density is greater than that. Now let's think about air. What happens when you put helium in a balloon? Right, it floats. It floats because the atoms in the helium are spaced farther apart than the atoms in the air, making it less dense. Great job! Now think about this. Do all liquids have the same density? How could you find out? An experiment, of course. Created using Powtoon.